The 80s brought us many great coming-of-age teenage movies, and usually starred great actors like Molly Ringwald, Anthony Michael Hall, Emilio Estevez, Demi Moore, and many others. In 1985, David Blum wrote an article for New York called Hollywood's Brat Pack, which was about a group of actors including Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, Judd Nelson, and others who were in the film St. Elmo's Fire. The piece was originally only going to be about Estevez, but he decided to invite Blum on a night out at the Hard Rock Cafe, and he changed his topic to the group as a whole. The article did no favors for the actors, who felt betrayed as Blum portrayed them in a very negative light, and were then known as the Brat Pack. Before the article ever came out, these young actors were generally thought of as simply talented, but after they were always grouped together, and seen as unprofessional and, well, bratty. The Brat Pack is a play on words of the Rat Pack, a group of crooners from the 50s and 60s, but with the addition of the B, the name started to have a negative connotation. The main actors known for belonging to this group are Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, Anthony Michael Hall, Andrew McCarthy, Judd Nelson, Demi Moore, Molly Ringwald, and Ali Sheedy. These actors are plucked out of famous films The Breakfast Club and St. Elmo's Fire, and now considered to be iconic. These young actors were known to do some heavy partying with other actors like Robert Downey Jr. and Charlie Sheen. Unfortunately for the actors, the nickname remained with them for a long time and negatively affected their careers as some also had problems with drugs and alcohol. Because of this negative media targeted at the actors, they subsequently stopped hanging out with each other. The article just destroyed it. I had felt truly a part of something, and that guy just blew it to pieces, said actress Ali Sheedy years later. Susanna Gora published a book in 2010 titled You Couldn't Ignore Me If You Tried, The Brat Pack, John Hughes, and Their Impact on a Generation, in which she interviews various members and even David Blum. In the book, Blum admits that he thinks he was wrong to publish the story, and shouldn't have done it. Gore wrote that the group could have gone on to more serious roles if not for that article. They were talented, but they had professional difficulties, personal difficulties after that. But all of these actors overcame their troubles and are still active in the industry today. Estevez starred in the Mighty Ducks trilogy and is now on the Disney Plus series The Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Rob Lowe was able to make his way onto the small screen on political drama The West Wing, and later on in Parks and Recreation. Molly Ringwald can be seen on shows like The Secret Life of the American Teenager, and most recently, Riverdale. Anthony Michael Hall stopped being typecast as the geek, and had a lead on the series The Dead Zone. Andrew McCarthy continues acting, but is also now an author set to release his memoir, Brat, an 80s story. Judd Nelson has done many films since the 80s, and has guest starred on many shows as well. Demi Moore continued to have success in the 90s with lead roles, but eventually lost her status as highest paid actress, and can most recently be seen in Songbird. Ali Sheedy has continued to act in various projects, and was last seen on the screen in 2016 when she had a cameo in X-Men Apocalypse. 